Welcome to Applied Food Science and Engineering with Prof. Vigent. Let's melt some chocolate and see what happens. Microwaving chocolate isn't always the best idea to maintain chocolate quality, but I'm probably going to ruin this chocolate anyway. So, notice how smooth and glossy the melted chocolate is. This is a characteristic of a good emulsion. Emulsions consist of very, very small droplets or particles of one phase suspended in a different phase. Dressing and mayonnaise are emulsions where tiny drops of oil are suspended in what we call a water phase. That's where they get their yumminess and creaminess from. It's also why they're opaque. The tiny droplets of oil scatter light. In the case of the melted chocolate, there's numerous elements to this emulsion. In an emulsion, there is a continuous phase. It's what everything else is suspended in. In the case of chocolate, it's cocoa butter or cocoa fat. Suspended in that are the chocolate solids and usually little drops of what we would call a water phase where the sugar and milk is. It's not liquid water, but it's stuff that would dissolve in liquid water rather than be in fat. In order to stay in this mixture well mixed without all glomming together, we need an emulsifier, which is something that can maintain the water phase suspended in the oil phase because it has a oil-loving and a water-loving end to the molecule. It bridges, you might say. So what happens if we add some more water? The role of water in this action will be played by heavy cream. Let's see what happens with just a drop. Let's stir in the cream and see what happens to the texture of the chocolate. From smooth and glossy, I now have grainy. In fact, you can see that this behaves a bit more like wet sand than like my smooth and glossy mixture from earlier. This is what we call seized chocolate. It's broken, and that's a technical term. Adding more water seized the chocolate. It broke the emulsion because when the extra water came in, all the water phase went to it and dragged along some of the dry particles, creating the large grains. The solution? Keep adding more cream. It seems counterintuitive, but adding more of a water phase will let you do something called inverting the emulsion. Really, you say? That doesn't look like a rescue yet. Let's keep stirring. This is looking a little more promising. Let's do some more stirring. Aha, I see it. Do you see it? The dark glossiness in the center. Just a little more stirring and we will have achieved chocolate ganache. Look at that. It is beautiful. It is glossy. It is rich and thick. We have successfully inverted the emulsion. Instead of being little drops of water in oil, it's now little drops of oil in water. A little more stirring and that's complete. Now, unfortunately, this won't set up the same way that the original chocolate would. It's always going to be sticky and a little bit liquidy. It's basically frosting. It won't make a chocolate-covered strawberry that you could ship, but it'll make one that sure is yummy. Cheers! Thanks for watching.